pay attention to this and look for signs of relative strength, not so that you can just. Another wild day on Wall Street. So we're gonna do the indexes at the end as always, so stay to the end. But let's just jump into it because there are five names that we should be looking at for tomorrow. And we should also be looking at some shorts for tomorrow. But stay to the end because we, we need to talk about what happened at the, in the last 15 minutes of the day. Uh, if you just look at this AMR, they came out with earnings today and you can see how we acted pre and post. But more importantly, this is the data it hit early this morning. And then we just gapped right up and then the open, then we sold down. Now, why this is important is if you look at the monthly chart, okay, you can clearly see this is as far back as we can go. This is at all time highs, it's coal manufacturer coal company. I know it's not exciting, but this is what's working. Energy's working. Just keep that in mind. Uh, so here's that doji. Flip the doji, unable to close below that level. And we're still at the open, but we still closed at an all-time high. Why that's not exciting, energy names actually, when they came down with the rest of the market, actually bounced, which shows great resilience, especially when the NASDAQ at one point today was down 6%, which is just insane. But there it is. So what we're gonna look for here is very simple. Now, you can wait until you flip to the top of this level right here to get to the top of it. Okay, 174 and a quarter, we're gonna call it. Or you can just try to buy it in the middle of this and then if you break this green line, just get out, 164.69. Okay, that's what you would be using for a short-term trade. I really like this, I think it has massive potential. Take a look at this line. Now, if people that have followed me for some time know that I really like these trades. If you can break through something like this, it could really go. This is the right space. Energy is not getting any better. The, the, the situation is not getting better in regards to energy costs. So let's just keep that in mind and try to figure out how we can benefit from it. As always, subscribe to the channel and click all notifications because what we go over in these videos is extremely timely. Uh, also in featured channels, take a look because there's now a clips channel where all this is broken out and uh, posted later either tonight or the next day. Some other contents on there as well. That's just shorter version. So Square had earnings. Now, before we dive into the earnings, let's just talk about this technically. Let's get rid of some of these lines. I don't really want the five and the eight. You can see you're pointing down. You can see the, the 21 and the 50. And I don't really care about the RSI because you're basically trading sideways. You can see the cross. You can see our inability to rally. You can see this bear flag, but there's something else going on with that bear flag. And that's what I wanna, really want to focus on. So inside of this, if you take a look, see how this is getting wider and wider and wider. Okay. So this is a megaphone. It's a bear, it's in a bear flag, but you have a megaphone pattern at the bottom. Okay, this is not what you want to see. So let's, let me zoom in on this. So we can talk about this. So here's your flagpole. Here's your megaphone pattern. Now, all we're going to look to do is see if we're going to break this level or not break that level. 93.12. If you break that level, you're going to want to think about being shorted. Now, after hours, stocks bouncing around, and we'll throw that in right now, okay? You're 98, you closed at 95 and a half. So I'm not so sure how we open or what happens tomorrow, but that's what I would be looking for. If that breaks, you can go from there and take a look at it. Now there is a decent short position in this. So you you could see this, you know, just trade around this area up here. You can do that, but I, I don't think the trade's being long. I think it's being short. And that's based upon what we're seeing on earnings. Uh, Bitcoin revenue are down 50% year over year. EPS came in at 18 cents versus the 21 cent estimate. And sales came in at 3.96 after uh, supposed to be at 414. So that's not really where you wanna be. And you're seeing this happen. We saw this happen with PayPal too. So just take a look at that level and consider that level. Now, Lucid, I've tried to play it a couple times. It really hasn't worked out very well. Uh, you know, I think that this is gonna be one that's gonna have a, they're probably gonna be around in some other kind of format later is what I think is going to happen. You know, maybe we see a lot of these EV companies eventually merge. I'm not, I'm not really sure how it's gonna play out, but maybe they do that just uh, down the line. So, but obviously all of them are not gonna make it, but let's just talk about this. So this has an enormous short position, okay? And where we're at is we're right against this major resistance line. So you have 20 and a half. So this is where we closed, okay? And what I'm thinking is that if we can just get over this open tomorrow, right, which is roughly 992, you can call it 20 if you want. If you can get over $20 tomorrow, you could absolutely push. You could push and squeeze. This was a decent quarter. 
It wasn't great. Uh, they still lost money, but they lost much less than they thought they were going to lose. Uh, and sales came in at 57 million versus 53 million. So they are they are going in the right direction, right? But you're, it's a smaller name. You're basically in a stage four base the way that you're breaking down here. I mean, you can see that. You don't need me to tell you that. But I think that with the amount of shorts that are out there, this can squeeze. We're seeing that a lot. So all you're looking for is get over 20. Watch how you act to 20 and a half. And it's very possible that this does something along these lines of a squeeze. And we can kind of go back and take a look at the database and see that we've gone through this before and had squeezes like this the next day. So there's no reason that we can't see that happen again. And I think that's a distinct possibility. Now, Cloudfair came out with earnings and this was not really what you want to see from a company. So we closed at 77.81 and let's just review where we're currently at. So we're currently at $66. So this was not the ideal news that we were looking for. So what we're going to just focus on is that your, your revenue did beat. You came in at 212 versus 205 million. So that, that's good. Uh, what people were not really crazy about is the revenues. Uh, they just didn't come out and, and just wow with a uh, second quarter earnings raise. And I think that they also were talking about showing a possible loss again next quarter, which is not what anybody wants to hear. So based upon that, we're seeing a slowdown, apparently, of their, their cost cutting or becoming a profitable company. Um, I'm, I have to look into it fundamentally. I'm going to be candid. I don't know exactly why they're not going to be positive if their earnings are going to be in line and their revenue is going to be up. But it does seem like that's an issue that if you came in and you were looking for 217 on estimates from, you know, 217 on your revenue number, now you're at 227 and you're telling me you're still going to lose money. So that, that would allude to me that your costs are going to go up, right? And that would be something that must be concerning to people and because we don't know why that's happening. It doesn't matter. Technicals tell you everything. Price pays. Everything else is conversation. So here you are, 76.61. Boom, you broke it. And now here you are at 65. I am not telling you to short it here. What I'm going to suggest is see tomorrow if you can bounce back up to the 7661 level. See if that's possible. These names, you see where you close 7781. A lot of these names that gap down tend to get back to their open and then roll. And that's what you're going to be looking for here. Uh, this could get really nasty, like Janet Jackson nasty. The way this is set up here, it's one huge big bear flag, right? And you're about to break. So watch this also expect all the other cloud names I'll, we'll go through the cloud chart in a moment we're going to bring this home and then go through the indexes so in regards to uh, other names this is longer term earnings and revenue were not what we were looking for at all and this is exactly what happens in this kind of market right you know you have a $1,700 stock that's now worth 400 all we've done is seen it collapse uh, I've talked about this name at nauseum we went over it in today's pre-market live but you know, when we rallied up here, I kept hearing about, oh, it's going to come back. And we looked at it and saw, try, tried to see if it would come back. It didn't. Uh, we broke again, rolled. You see this whole base right here, broke it. This is still your trend. So uh, people aren't going to want to hear this. But if you're breaking this, yeah, I still think you can come down into here. Uh, I still think you can come back down to these levels. So we've seen this before. You know, someone had a really good post the other day. Uh, you know, realized that Amazon lost 92% of its value at one point. So just kind of keep that in mind. When things get ugly, they can get super ugly. Uh, and when you are when you have a decline in revenues and earnings versus what your estimates are, nobody's going to play games right now in this market. Uh, it's extremely too volatile. So all you're going to be looking for right now is that level. Okay, see that 409.61 level? Get below that level. Close below 409.61. You can put the trade on at any time. You can put it on at 396. My point is make sure that you stay below the 409.61 level. And I, I just think you can buy puts and leave them alone. If you're gonna buy puts, go further out and see if you can get the VIX down a little bit before you buy those puts. We might as well start there. You wanna be really careful buying puts and calls in this market. We were in the trading room today. I was trying to make it abundantly clear. Can you make money? Yes, you can make money, right? But you're better off, in my opinion, with today's action being on the call side because with the puts inflated, when the market rallies, even like a, a, a light wind, is going to take the market up and have this come down and that's exactly what happened today so you can see how this kind of broke down towards the end of the day watch the vix you have to watch this tomorrow because you should not be hitting a higher high on option expiration why because when you're doing options 
you're going to have sellers on both sides that are just going to try to get whatever they can get out of the option, right? Whatever money they can make, they're going to try to make. So they're going to try to figure out how they're going to do that. What's important about that is that this means that the volatility should come in and this should contract. You can trade SVX, uh, SVXY if you want on, on this, but looking at this, that's why you want to stay away from it. I, I would be, if you were interested in doing lottos tomorrow, to me it's calls, it's definitely not puts. But see what happens and let's talk about some of these indexes and let's do these sectors first. So this is clearly the winner. It's very, it's not even in competition anymore. Energy, 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 crude, I believe closed around 109, 110. I don't have an exact number in front of me. But you can see how you, you hit a new high today. This is setting up to move. All the names in that sector are setting up to move. Coal companies now have come out, excellent earnings. Crude oil continues to you know, dominate. Even the U.S. has come out and had to admit that they're going to have to replenish that reserve uh, in the fall. So 60 million barrels. Now, what we're seeing here with the Sox, tried to break out, couldn't do it, came back. We did not take out a lower low. So I, I'm going to say this, like if, if we bounce, you need to be looking at the Sox. Like the fact here, look at this. April 27th, we didn't take out the lower low. I, I know it's not exciting and I know it's not what we wanted to see today, but you see how you're... you're 21s here and then you broke it and it's not what you want right five eight this is this is kind of hanging on to the eight by its its fingernails not what we want to see but if i just look at the action and realize that well i still haven't taken out that april 27th low doesn't mean that i won't but right now i haven't and if you drill down into those names i'm going to spend a little more time talking about this tonight if you drill down into those names they didn't break down today i mean they broke down versus where they were yesterday but they're not taking out lower lows. So if you take a look at those names and then you took a, take a look at AMD, they're not, okay, so we're, so we're not at the highs we were yesterday. You're still hanging in there, right? You're no longer at $83. So pay attention to this and look for signs of relative strength, not so that you can just buy them today, but then when you do see the NASDAQ have a short covering rally or bounce, you can do these for a trade. And let's talk about this. So here's the cues. This is your range. Let's just be blunt. You're not going anywhere until this is cleared up. So until you're above 325.25, you're in a trading range at best. Take little bits of money out of tech if you're gonna to continue to trade tech because that's all you have here, okay? Until this is fixed now, we completely rejected the level I wanted to clear, it did not clear. So we came in, I actually came in long, uh, Tesla calls did not work, blew them out down here. And this is why you always have to honor your process. And I think it's important to talk about process today. Everyone always talks about their winners. If you focus on process, you'll crush all the people that are talking about their winners. So if you see this right here, okay, and th this is we did that on Tesla, boom, out, next, and get out of the way. Now, here you are, one, two, three. This was our big move. We were gonna finally get over this, okay? finally get over this and we didn't. Now, this is what I showed last night. And again, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click all notifications and please like this video. It helps me get in front of more people and there's never been a better time to be around uh, people that have been trading for a long period of time. Not someone that's been trading for like a year, but people have been trading for decades. And if you're on social media, they're the people you should be paying attention to right now. Uh, not the people that are doing like lotto options. Be really careful of that in this kind of market. Anyway, see this line, okay? So what I was looking for was not this, right? So you could see back here, end of March, and how we have not hit a higher high, right? Not, no higher high on, on the hourly chart. So I was hopeful, and we know hope is not a strategy, that we were gonna do that off the open. So I bought a little stock up here uh, to trade in the open. Guess what happened, right? Man plans, you know, God laughs. So then we broke down and this is what happened. So that's pretty much it. Um, I do want to kind of go through a couple other things. You bounced off of this level at the end of the day, but look at this here. Let me focus on this for a minute because this was really interesting to me. You're actually up uh, another dollar after hours on the NASDAQ. But I just think that this is important and I think it's worth your time. So, okay. So you see this right here. Okay, this was May 2nd. This is the 6th. So just so we're clear, this level right here, this was the level we were watching today, 309.65, okay, next bar, 309.63. We undercut it by two cents and that's where you bounced. So keep that in mind, there's, there's, your, there's your support level. Watch that tomorrow. If you can hold this, you, know, you do have the ability to trade up and these would be short-term trades if you're looking at tech because you're in that 
kind of sticking point. So just kind of keep that in mind. Energy is the place to where you want to be more than anything if you're looking longer term. That's it. I know it was a little long tonight. Have a great evening and trade to win tomorrow.